up your hands and lift up your voices and begin to appreciate the name of Jesus. The hour we have been waiting for is here. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We joy, lift up your hands everywhere. Lift up your hands. Give God the glory for this session of impartation for his servant and for every participant tonight. Give God the glory. Give him all the praise for his presence that is here already. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you glory. We thank you. We bless you, Lord. We appreciate you for you chose the day. You have confirmed the day. Lord, we thank you for what you are set to do again in our midst tonight, taking us forward, taking us higher by this impartation and voluntary service. Let's magnify his name. Let's give him all the honor. Give him praise. If you are expectant tonight, thank God and give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. Magnify his name. Everywhere you are connected, lift up your voices. Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate his name. Lift up your voice and begin to give him glory for the encounters of tonight, for the impartation. You me your way tonight. Give God thanks. Give God the glory for every session, every aspect that will take us higher and let take us to next level. Give God glory. Give him praise for this next level service, for this impartation and voluntary service. You and I, we are privileged to be a partaker. Give God the glory. Give him praise. Thank him for the presence of the Holy Ghost here tonight. Lord, we celebrate you. We magnify your name. Thank you, mighty God. Wave your hands to him. Give him all the glory everywhere. Acknowledge his presence here tonight. We acknowledge the presence of Jehovah here tonight. Give him all the praise. Thank you, mighty God. We give you all the glory. Tonight, you shall be visited. In the name of Jesus Christ, put your hands together for Jesus as we welcome the choir. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we worship you. You are wonderful.
his hands together for the King of Glory and give him a shout. Forever you good, oh, forever you kind, oh, I will praise you forever and ever. Just 
Welcome tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Please quickly take your seat. Praise God. Fortune in my person in 2024. We shall be rising up tonight to take our first Thanksgiving service. Thanksgiving prayer for this service. We shall be saying, Father, thank you for confirming your word with signs, wonders, and diverse miracles in this commission and in our individual lives since inception. Can I hear your amen? Mark 16, verse 20, and they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord walking with them and confirming the war with signs following. That has been our testimony. Can we please rise up tonight as we go before the Lord in thanksgiving prayer. Father, we thank you for confirming your war with signs, wonders, and diverse miracles in this commission. And in our individual lives since the beginning of the year 2024, 
Father, we are here to say thank you. Father, thank you for confirming your word with signs, wonders, and diverse miracles in this commission and in our individual lives since inception. We are here to say thank you. We give you glory tonight. We are coming into your presence with thanksgiving. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. You have not left this commission without a witness. We are witness signs, wonders, and diverse miracle in our commission and in our individual lives since inception. Father, we say thank you. We are here tonight to say thank you. Father, we are here tonight to say thank you. Father, we are here tonight to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you and thank you and thank you for confirming your word with signs, wonders, and diverse miracles in this commission in our individual lives since inception. Father, we are here to say thank you. We give you glory. You alone deserve the glory. You alone deserve the honor. You alone deserve the thanksgiving. We are here tonight to say thank you. We come into your presence tonight with thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. Our heart is full of thanksgiving tonight. Our mouth is full of your praise tonight. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Father, we thank you. We thank you. You have not left us without a witness. We have a testimony of signs, testimony of wonders, diverse miracles in this commission and in our individual lives since inception. We are saying thank you. Lord, thank you. Thank you. We can't thank you enough. If you have a thousand tongues, it's not enough to thank you. We are saying thank you. We are saying thank you. We have come tonight with a heart of gratitude, with a praise in our mouth to say thank you for your doings in this commission since inception. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We give you all the praise. Lord, thank you. Thank you and thank you. We can't thank you enough for confirming your war with signs, wonders, and diverse miracles in this commission and in our individual lives since inception. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. Our heart is full of thanksgiving. Our praise is full of praise. Our mouths are full of praise. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, our Father. We thank you for confirming your word. The Bible says, and they went forth and preached everywhere. And confirming is your word with sign following. Thank you for the confirmation of your word in this commission and in the life of individuals since inception. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Mama, Mreado, Mandea, Kaba. Wave your hands and begin to thank him and begin to appreciate him. Give him praise. Give him honor. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your doings. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. As we give thanks more tonight, we go up in Jesus' name. Please put your hands together for Jesus as you take your seat. You're excited tonight to be in this celebration service. Give Jesus a big, big shout of hallelujah. On behalf of Jesus Christ, the head of the church, and our Father in the Lord, the apostle over this liberation commission, I'd like to welcome us tonight to this valedictory service in honor of our own dear Bishop David Abioye. Today, we are gathered here for a valedictory service for a well-deserving steward in this commission, Bishop David Abioye. According to the apostle over this commission, you don't grow big to manage well. You manage well to grow big. Every great organization, including the church, is built on established order. Orderliness guarantees the future of any organization. Why disorder can cause the crash of any system. Order is a vital kingdom principle for building a strong, healthy, and ever-growing church. After order was installed in the early church, what followed was explosive growth. The word of God increased and the disciples multiplied. Tonight, you shall return with an order of great grace upon your life in the name of Jesus. For instance, since inception, everyone that ever served in this commission has a file which includes a letter of application for the employment, 
confirmation of appointment, and service records. The good news is that our mother in the Lord, Pastor Faith Oedepo, happens to be the first full-time staff of this commission way back in 1984. Is somebody celebrating the Lord tonight? What are the benefits of instilling order? One, order enhances individuals and organizations for maximum delivery. Order enhances focus. Order minimizes waste. Order deflates pressure and engenders rest. Order secures justice without respect of persons. Order engenders open accountability that protects a leader from financial impropriety and many more. In addition, God commands that everything be done decently and in order. To the glory of God, there has been, this has been a unique grace upon this great commission, the grace for orderliness. Someone will return with that grace again tonight in the name of Jesus. In the light of the above, and as our custom is, we hold valedictory services in honor of those who have reached the retirement age of 60 years. One was held for Bishop Thomas Aremu just this past Tuesday at Ibadan. Another one was held at Adwekiti for one of the senior pastors. What we are doing here tonight is not new, but part of the set order in this system. Valedictory services like these is an avenue to congratulate the celebrant for a successful tenure in the service of this commission. Valedictory service like this is a platform for the celebrants to express his experience with God in the course of his service here in this commission. And most of all, a valedictory service like this is an avenue for the impartation of grace on the celebrants as he sets out to his new face of life so he can continue to occupy till Jesus comes. Someone say loud amen. amen. Further to this, someone may ask, after retirement, what next? This commission has a provision for elongated service scheme, which is an opportunity for those who want to continue in their services in this commission. And interested retirees have applied under this scheme. And up to now, over 31 retirees have been enlisted in that scheme to the glory of God and still counting. However, we must note that no retiree in this commission can hold any official portfolio because of the demand of duty in this commission. Therefore, the core tax of any retiree pastor under the elongated service scheme is the oversight function under the mission inspectorate service platform, which we call the MIS. In addition, there are a number of our retirees who have been connected and have stayed connected to this commission as active members of the church where they live. Those of them who are also in pursuit of the ministry they have received of the Lord have been very much connected to this commission as was observed during the 70th birthday of our Father in the Lord, the Bishop David Oedipo, which held recently. By the policy of this commission, only the founder has a lifetime tenor, except where he decides to step down. Tonight, someone is returning with the grace for order and the grace for continuity in the name of Jesus Christ. If that is you, let your amen be louder. To take us further in this service tonight, I'd like to welcome Pastor Yakubu Kezi to bring to us the brief service records of the celebrant. Make it bigger for Jesus as he comes. Someone excited to be in this place tonight. Put those hands tomorrow for Jesus. Praise the Lord, 40 is my portion, 2024. 
congratulations it is my privilege this evening to read to us the brief service records of our dearly beloved Bishop David Abue. I served with him as Vice President for Remission while he was the first Vice President and Chairman of Cabinet. He is a man endowed with grace to analyze issues and come up with clear solutions. <laughs> Bishop David Olatunji Abioye was born on 11th March 19, 1961 to the family of late Pastor Simeon Ademola Abioye and Mama Susanna Aduke Abioye of Erinle Kwara State. As a young man with a burning passion for God, he had been an ardent follower of Bishop David Oyedeko since January 1980 and was an active member of the powerhouse, the spiritual preparatory platform for the ministry from 1981 to 1983. As this relationship grew, he carried out the mandatory NYSC in the ministry between 1983 to 1984. As David Olatunji Abue answered the call into full-time pastoral ministry under the Living Faith Church Worldwide in the year 1986 and was ordained a pastor in 1987 and shortly after was posted to pioneer the church planting work in Meiduguri, where he was later ordained a bishop in 1993. His personal services in this church had taken him to Meiduguri, Kaduna, Abuja, and Goshen here in Nasara State between 1987 and 2021. Within his 38 years of full-time service, he had been privileged to serve in various high-level positions of leadership within the church system. The last being the pro-chancellor of Covenant University from 2021 to 2024. Bishop David Abue is an accomplished author and has published several titles which are in circulation across the nation today, or nations today. He is happily married to Pastor Mrs. Mary Abue, his spouse of 36 years, and they are blessed with children and grandchildren. Put those hands together for Jesus. Please rise to your feet right now, and let's welcome the choir for some high praises to the glory of the Most High God. Give the Lord a shout of praise. You are marvelous, yeah. 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 Marvelous, yeah. You are glorious, yeah. Glorious, 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 glorious. You are glorious, yeah. Glorious, yeah. Glorious, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, 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 You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Hallelujah. Giro, 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 
talking to me. Somebody give a lot of clappers word. Again, I don't care when I see Nigeria. See Nigeria, see Nigeria. Giro again. The things that are impossible, things that money cannot, they are the things that he has done for me. Oh. What my mother cannot do, what my mother cannot do, he has done it again. The things that, the things that are impossible, things that money cannot, they are the things that he has done for me. Oh. What my mother cannot do. He has done it again. The things that are impossible, things we cannot, cannot see, they are the things he has done for me. Oh. What my mother cannot do, what my father cannot do, he has done it again. That's why I call it Omini Potent God, Omini Science God, Dependable God. Oh, many present God is the same. What my father cannot do. What my father cannot do. He has done it again and again. Father to you. Oh. He has the glory. To you, Jesus. He has the glory. He has the glory. And has the resurrection forevermore. Father to you. a big hand of praise and please be seated. Tell your neighbor, get set for an impartation tonight. Taking us further tonight, it is my pleasure to welcome the celebrant of tonight, the Bishop David Abioye, for his valedictory speech. Make it bigger for Jesus as he comes forward. Let's have silence, please. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024.
Thank you. Let's have some silence. As they used to say in um, some of our traditional church where we were before, the Lord is in his temple. Let the heart be silent in his presence. The president and the apostle over this commission, Bishop David Oedipo, our very dear mother, Pastor Faith Oedipo. co laborers sons of the prophets in the house, all other protocols observed. I count it a great privilege given by my father, Bishop David Oedipo, and an honor to stand before this esteemed congregation who are gathered to honor us in this valedictory service. First, I give all glory to God, who by election of grace found me faithful and enabled me to serve in his kingdom. <laughs> on the platform of this Liberation Commission since inception. To me, adventure in ministry was not a subject of being desirous or having an ambition, but simply fulfilling divine purpose. Coming from an humble background, <laughs> under my parents, I simply found myself growing up in loving God and the things of the kingdom. My biological father of blessed memory was a lover of God, a lover of his kingdom. And tonight, my wonderful mother is also here in this service, as well as my mother-in-law and a great host of our family members from everywhere. Secondly, I appreciate my spiritual father, whom God has used tremendously in no little way to impart my life, my wife and I, with grace till this moment. As a pastor over us, we have been well fed by the word of God. As a past finder, He has been used by God to guide us in the path of destiny. As a trailblazer, he has inspired us in the pursuit of divine plan. And as a prophet, he has provided for us adequate covering in the journey of life. Meeting with him, God's servant, became like entering into a school and life-transforming lessons have been learned. On this special occasion, it's my joy, therefore, to present this address, which I would like to begin by saying that there is no self-made man in life. And even though God is the one who makes people, he does so through the instrumentality of men that we see and relate with. Today, I sincerely acknowledge that such is the story of my stewardship in ministry under the tutelage of my mentor, Bishop David Oedepo, and on the platform of this Liberation Commission. Greatness is not a thing to wish, but a journey to make by following. 
which by God's help, I've engaged myself since my first encounter with him in January 1980. Then I was 19 years old, or about to be 19 years old, which I believe from the foundation of the world was orchestrated by the Holy Spirit to fulfill divine purpose. Today, people look at me with admiration as a full-fledged duplicate of grace that is upon the life of my prophet, pastor, teacher, and mentor, Bishop David Oedeko. In a recently published book, In Honor of God's Servant, at the occasion of his 70th birthday, written by an erudite professor in Covenant University, titled Treasures of Spiritual Gratuity, to which I was privileged to do a foreword. I had remarked as follows. It is important to understand that learning is more valuable than earnings. This is because life in itself is a compendium of daily lessons. What you earn is for your pocket, but what you learn goes not only into your life, but into your future. For me and my wife, lessons learned so far has provided for us security of destiny. As it is the aspiration of every son, I stand before this holy congregation with a deep sense of appreciation to God and his servant that the spirit of the commission and the grace upon his life has rested evidently on me. As it was with Joshua under Moses and Elijah under Elijah, which continues, which puts me in continuity in the path of exploits all the days of my life. As earlier noted in this address, my personal relationship with God's servant, which commenced even before the birth of the mandate, has spanned close to 45 years, covering several spheres of life, including ministry, our nuclear and extended families, social spheres, etc. This relationship is quite extensive and deep, and we shall continue to be a part of it by God's grace as we, are, as we engage in post-retirement activities in full submission to the guidance of the Holy Spirit as taught us over the years by our fathers and mentors. Finally, to God's servant, again, the apostle over this commission, my wife and I want to say a very big thank you as well to our beloved mother who has created an environment for us to serve God in this commission. To all members, To all members of the Council of the Ministry and its various extensions, the management, beloved pastors, great co laborers, all administrative staff, and indeed all members of the winner's family, we hereby express our hearty appreciation. It's been a journey of building relationships with imprinted lasting memories all through. And to all co-laborers in other ministries, friends, 
and other acquaintances who have come from far and near to grace this occasion. We do not take your coming for granted. We pray that the Lord will abundantly reward you all and honor you in return. He will as well grant everyone super safety in your journeys back to your destinations. God bless the Living Faith Church worldwide. And all members of the winner's family, thank you for listening with deep love from our hearts for all. Amen. Please give Jesus another big hand of praise for that celebrant speech. And you may please be seated. Taking us further again tonight is a response from the spokesman of the commission, the Vice President Church Network. Please make welcome Pastor Yinka Folorisho. Somebody excited, put your hands big, big, big again for Jesus. It's my privilege this wonderful evening to make this response. I was privileged to serve with a celebrant of today as Vice President Church World Network while he was the first Vice President and Chairman of Cabinet. He's a man that is committed to the accomplishment of any given task and particularly the various church growth operations. That has been the life wire of our church growth worldwide. If you are clapping, make it bigger for Jesus. On behalf of our Father, the Apostle over this Liberation Commission, Bishop David Oedipo, we wish to congratulate the celebrant of today, Bishop David Abui, on this milestone event. This event marks the commencement of a new phase in the life of the celebrant. As Alia mentioned, this validatory service is held in honor of our retirees and all those who have attained the retirement age. Bishop David Abie and his wife are being celebrated today on this platform for his faithful stewardship in the kingdom and passion to see souls saved and established in the faith. He is reputed to be highly dedicated to the cause of Christ. We wish him more of God's grace as he continues to occupy till Jesus comes in sound health and vitality. Jesus is Lord. Please put your hands together for Jesus again. Hallelujah. As we continue in this celebration service, it is my privilege to call on some senior servants of God and sons of the prophets for their brief remarks. And first on, first on our list is our dearly beloved mother in faith, Pastor Faith Oyedepo. Please put your hands together for Jesus as well, welcome our mother for a brief speech. Are you clapping for Jesus? Make it big, big, big for Jesus. Mm. 
Please, you may be seated. Let somebody shout the loudest. Hallelujah. That is too small for Goshen. Put your wonderful hands together for the Lord. Praise God. I count it a very, very great privilege to be here tonight and be a part of this wonderful celebration at this valedictory service for God's servant, Bishop David Abuye. And tonight, for the next two minutes or so, first, I want to say a very big congratulations to God's servant, Bishop David Olatunji Abuye, and his wonderful wife, and the entire family. For God taking you through all these years and bringing you this far. I want to say very clearly, it's been a long journey. I've known Bishop Abioye ever before the ministry started. And you have been there from inception, from the days of small beginnings. When in the powerhouse, we used to have camp meetings in secondary school and eating with borrowed plastic plates and spoons. And here we are today, over 40 years after, waxing stronger in the Lord. The journey has been long, and God has been faithful. Therefore, I celebrate you tonight, and I want to leave you with these two scriptures. One, Proverbs 4.18 the path of the just shines brighter and brighter. Therefore, you haven't seen anything yet. Amen? Because God leads forward, he doesn't lead backward. Therefore, the best is here to come. Let me hear your believing amen. Second scripture, Jesus said, Occupy till I come. Therefore, greater grace, I believe, shall be released tonight for greater exploits. Amen. Can I hear your believing? Amen. Amen. God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo, has said over and again, Life is in phases. Together, we have gone through different phases of life. And now another phase is unfolding, and this phase shall be greater. Yeah. It shall be forward moving, yeah. and the testimonies shall continue to be on the increase. Yeah. Therefore, I congratulate you, and know that together we shall run this race to the end, yeah. and be able to hear from the master, well done, thou good and faithful servant. To each one of us here tonight, I see God also taking us to higher heights. You are here celebrating. Celebration will be your portion forever. God bless you. Have a wonderful season. Please put your hands together for Jesus for that inspiring world. Hallelujah. Please join me as we welcome Pastor Paul Enenche from Dunamis International. Hallelujah. 
Can we give the Lord a big clap as we take our seats? I want to, first of all, appreciate God's servant, my father in the Lord, Bishop David Oedipo, for the platform given to every one of us, including the celebrant of today, for the fulfillment of ministry and life's assignment. We thank you, sir, for being so selfless in releasing the deposit of God in your life upon the children coming up, and we are eternally grateful. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise for our Father and the Lord. Tonight we are here to celebrate the life of a man. And all I will say is just a few things that we can pick from the stewardship of God's servant, Bishop David Abioye. I think the first thing that I saw is that making a difference is superior to making a living. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 said, what things soever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. That is the summary of God's servant, Bishop David O. Abioye. Making a difference wherever you are found, place ahead of just making a living. Making meaning, not just making money. Making impact, not just making income. The struggle to make a mark, not the struggle to make a name. The struggle to know, not just the struggle to be known. The struggle to point you to the person up. I remember at the beginning of our ministry, we had met with our Father in the Lord and started relationship before the ministry started. But at the beginning of the ministry, he was in Lagos and we are here. And Bishop Abioye was in Kaduna. So we decided, let's get close to him and whatever will connect from our Father, we can, it can flow through him as well. And I got close to him. And he said, no, our father is in Lagos. We can reach him. And he put a call through. He pointed me from himself to our father in the Lord. And I will never forget that for life. Finally, the man who has done very, very tireless, brutal labor. And like mama has just said, I want to say to you, sir, the best days are ahead. There is never a wasted labor in the kingdom. God reward you, sir, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's welcome Bishop John Priest for a word. Put your hands together for Jesus as we welcome him. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, I say wave your hand and shout hallelujah. I'd like to salute our father in the Lord, the apostle of this commission, whom I made uh, in the first seminar he came for in Kaduna, 1983. And since then I followed him at various stages in life and ministry. And I think it was the same time Made with the celebrant, Bishop David Abioye. And um, I observe that he was a man that was full of humility. You can't beat the humility in him. Humility in the place of service. The Bible says, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ. That even though he was God, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made of himself of no reputation. And took upon him the form of a servant 
and become obedient unto death, even the death of the cross, wherefore God had highly exalted him. Bishop Abiyoye made of himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of his servant. And all as I was growing up and into ministry, I had not seen a man like Bishop Abio who had served in the capacity that way he had served, you know, in humility and uh, to his own mentor and bishop and father. And we've used him severally as an example of what it means to be an armor bearer and to serve. And we are grateful to God that what he has done and the example he has shown to upcoming ministries and ministers will never go down. And we say congratulations to him and to the phase that is ahead of him. Because like Mama said, the path of the just is like a shining light. And we want to say to him, Bishop David Abioye, greater glory ahead of you. I say greater glory ahead of you. The rest of your life shall be the best of your life. And the best of you is just ahead of you. God bless you and thank you. For that word from Archbishop John Praise. Please put your hands together again for Jesus. Hallelujah. Please let's welcome Bishop Peter Makunto from Yola. Put your hands together for Jesus. Please make it louder. Praise the Lord. Well, this is just a, it's just so surprising. You know, I want to say that thank you very much, Papa. Thank you very much, Mr. Bishop. I, I appreciate you. For me to stand to say something is, uh, I, I knew him, I knew Bishop since 19... 88, if I'm not making a mistake, if I'm not making a mistake, 1988, and uh, by that time he was in my degree, he came to Yola to preach in his church, and uh, from that day forward, my spirit is connected to him. You know, and he has done so much good for me and uh, God will bless you God will multiply you in Jesus name Amen for that brief but powerful word please put your hands together for Jesus in this celebration service shall we rise on our feet the choir will take us to a session of praises as we praise in the Lord please rise up on your feet as we give him praise. Why? We return to give you all the glory for the things you've done for us. We return to give you all the glory for the things you've done for us. We return to give you all the glory for the things you've done. We return. Lift your hands and worship. We return for the things you've done. We are saying thank you, Jesus. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. We are saying thank you, Jesus. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. For your mercy, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, thank you. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, you've been faithful, Lord. You've been faithful, Lord. From ages past. That is why your name. For Lord Ukola, it's forevermore. You've been faithful, Lord. For oh, your name, but we give you glory. That is why your name. Lord, we give you glory. We give you glory. You've been faithful, Lord. Faithful, 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 Lord. That is why your name. Hey, you may, you may, you may, you may lie. Oh, for your plenty wonder. Salvation of souls, my God, we give you. One, two, three, we lift you higher. Somebody lift him higher. Somebody lift him high. Oh, you raise him high. Oh, you lift him high. Oh, you raise him high. Up, up on the chamber. Lift him high. Oh, you name in my head. Somebody celebrate him. This one. Mama Pawa, Mamu, Iwa, Obaba.
give Jesus a big hand of praise and please you may be seated. In this celebration night on the occasion of the valedictory service of our dearly beloved Bishop David Abuye, it is time for the recognition of guests at this august occasion. We'd like to first and foremost recognize and welcome again our Father, the Apostle over the Liberation Mandate, the prophet in the house, our Father Bishop David Oedeko. We'd like to also welcome our mommy, our mother in the Lord, Pastor Mrs. Faith Oedeko. We recognize the Vice President Church Network, Pastor Yinka Folorunisho. The newly appointed Vice President Mission Inspectory Services, Pastor Emmanuel Agi. We also recognize the recent celebrant in this last week, last Tuesday, beg your pardon, Bishop Thomas Aremun. We'd like to welcome Pastor Yakubu Kese all the way from Kaduna State. Tonight we have a number of our retiree pastors serving on the elongated service scheme here in FCT and Nasarawa State. Please rise up for recognition wherever you are tonight. Retiree pastors in the Living Faith Church serving on the elongated service scheme are here. You are welcome. We have a number of our pastors from Nasarawa and FCT also here present. Tonight, give Jesus a big hand as you welcome them. We have some of the songs of the prophets, some have spoken tonight and given their brief remark. In no particular order, we'd like to recognize Pastor Paul Enenche and his wife. We have Pastor Dili Bamigui from Port Harcourt, Reverend Biodun Fatoimbo from Koza, Bishop Eboime from Port Harcourt, Bishop Bolo Martins from Kanu, Bishop Dixon Loronda from Bini. Pastor Shola Olawi from Lagos, Pastor Charles Ozazue from Benin, and we have Pastor Isaac Oedipo and his wife here tonight. We have members of the family of the celebrant of today here present, leading is Mama Susan Aduke Abuye, the, matana, the mother of the celebrant tonight. We have Mama, you are welcome. We have Mama Rebecca Olubemi, the mother-in-law of the celebrant of tonight. We have retired Captain and Mrs. Oyewole, Pastor and Mrs. Israel Abuye, Dr. Ajibike Okubo, Mrs. Fumi Olube, Reverend Sam Adesoye. We have Mrs. Fumi Bara, Mrs. Fumilade Do, and several other members of the family of the celebrant. Will you give Jesus a big hand of praise tonight? Gracing this occasion tonight are the biological children of the celebrant and their wives and their spouses and grandchildren. We have David and his wife, Ruth and her husband. Daniel and his wife and their children. Will you give Jesus a big hand of praise? We have a number of dignitaries also here tonight in no particular order. The Right Honorable Yakubu Dogara and his wife is present. Major General Bamidele Omozoji retired. Major General Akinjobi Oluwafemi retired. Honorable Justice Godwin Iebunike. We have Pastor Emmanuel Nwachuku. We have Senator David Jim Tuka. Bishop Zaki from Yola. Honorable Obunde from Makodi. Pastor Alex Onuche and the team of pastors. Barrister Israel Olorundari SAN. Dr. Shewu Gado. Honorable Nicholas Mutu, Mr. Gabriel Aduda, Permanent Secretary, Women Affairs, 
and we have Dr. Paul Odile and Dr. Andre Ogo. And most also, you are welcome to this occasion tonight. Give Jesus a big, big hand of praise. To take us further tonight, please make welcome Pastor Emmanuel Agi, Vice President, Mission Inspectory Service. Hallelujah. Somebody who is excited to be in this validatory celebration service, give God a shout of praise. When they began to sing and to praise, the Bible says God set ambushments against the nations that were come against Judah and they were smitten. As shortly the choir begins to sing, every adversary that has come against you, they shall be smitten in the name of Jesus Christ. As we continue in this service, it's my privilege to invite the choir for their special ministration. <laughs> You are. 
your hands together for the Lord and be seated. Everything has been speaking, but no matter what we have heard, until we hear the word, we have heard nothing. And so tonight the word is coming, and the transforming power of the word is reaching out to every one of us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's be sure we expect a definite encounter. Because without expectation, there shall be no manifestation to any man. The Bible says, take fast hold of instruction. Proverbs 4, 13. Let it not go, keep it. Nothing holds the future of any life like the revelation of the word of God. Take note of it, we may forget everything that happened here tonight, but the word coming to you specifically as a partaker of this assembly will never be forgotten. In the name of Jesus Christ. And let's take note also, the word coming is applicable. Your portion is in that word. And you will see, there is a portion for you in the world coming. 
There is a portion for me in the world coming. There is a portion for the celebrance of the day in the world coming. And my prayer is this. Everyone will take hold of his portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to stand on your feet and pray for yourself. Lord, I'm sent for the war. Visit me by your word tonight. I don't just want to come here as a, an onlooker. I want to be a partaker of the good things you are doing tonight. Lift up your voice and pray for yourself. Mention your specific need. The word coming is anointed enough to defy itself to every man and every woman. What you say before the word comes to you is what you see. Lord, visit me in your word. Change my story by your word. Give me a remarkable encounter by your word tonight. My heart is open. I've opened my eyes of understanding. Thank you, Lord, for what you are said to do for me via your word tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. That amen is too low. The Lord has amen. Bring the word tonight, our Father, the Apostle, over this commission, whom God has used over the years and is used tonight. Shall we put our hands together as I welcome our Father, the Bishop David Oyedepo? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those who give honor don't lack honor. By your coming here tonight, your life will not lack honor. By your honoring the celebrant with your presence tonight, your life will not lack honor. People only lack what they keep. No one lacks what he gives. People only lack what they keep. No one lacks what he gives. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you and your household will never lack honor. Shame and reproach will never be mentioned with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, thank you tonight for all the amazing things you have been doing in our midst since this event began. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for the celebrant of today, his wife, the children, the grandchildren, the members of the family. Let your glory never depart. Amen. Let it be growing in grace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And again, I pray covering over the family. There shall be no evil report. Amen. There shall be sound health Amen. and vitality. Amen. The grace of God will be on the increase. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please, you may be seated.
tonight I'll be sharing with us four secrets behind the triumph of this ministry. And because there are no private revelations in the kingdom, what I say to one, I say to all. Every child of God is on a mission. When you apply the same secrets, you get the same results. May the days of struggle of everyone here come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the days of struggles for anyone here come to an end. We live in a kingdom that operates on keys. Jesus said to Peter, I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. No one struggles with a door when he has a key to it. Your days of struggles must end tonight. The celebrant of today has never struggled for anything, yet good things kept happening. Your days of struggle must end today. Four vital secrets behind the sweatless triumphs of this ministry till date. One is the validity of the liberation mandate. It's not cooked up. It's not man-made. It's not organized. When you discover God's plan, you believe, you receive, and you pursue, God steps in to make it happen. I know my plans for you, says the Lord, the plan of good and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. My mentor, Copeland, said, Don't ask God to bless your plan. Seek for his plan. His plan is already blessed. May you never walk out, outside of God's plan in your life. May you not jump into a business because somebody else is doing it. May you stay on course with God's agenda for your life. He said, commit thy ways to the Lord. Trust also in him and he will bring it to pass. Lord, this is what I'm thinking. What are you saying? God's plan is superior to man's plan any day, any time. And the good news is God has a plan for you. Back in 1977, I read from Jeremiah 29, verse 11, Revised Standard Version. For I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, the plans of good and not of evil, a future and a hope. And God said to me, your future is in my plan, not in your plan. Can I have you say with me, God has a plan for me. And my future is in his plan. My future is in his plan. The validity of the liberation mandate is one of the secrets behind the sweatless triumph of this commission. Why? When God calls, he goes before the called to make the crooked path straight. When God calls, he goes with the call to see who stand on his way. When God calls, he walks with the call to make the call happen. When God calls, he walks through the call to get the job done. And when God calls, and the call is come to his wit's end, God steps in to do the work. It is God. He is at work and not both to will and to love his good, good pleasure. And in 1 Thessalonians 5, 24, the word said, Faith is that called the who also will do it. That's why when you step into what God calls you to do, you look like an amazement to the world. 
May you never lose color in your life. Number two secret, now please understand this. We serve a God of secrets. The secret things belong to God, but things he revealed, a thing that belongs to us and to our children. And the fear, the secret of the Lord is to them that fear him and we show them his covenant. You won't miss your step. The color we are celebrating today is someone finding God's plan and purpose for his life and pursuing it. You never miss your steps. The second secret that we engage with here is access and adherence to the ways of God as contained in scriptures. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. You never stumble in life. As you keep engaging with the world in your life. It keeps guiding your steps and keep you going. That will be your experience. That will be your experience. That will be your experience. The ways of God include kingdom principles, instructions, corrections, warnings. For instance, I said to God, when he called me to go into full-time ministry, who pays me? And then his word came alive within two weeks. After this, I appointed 70 others also. And he said, go your way, carry no personal script, and greet no man on the way. The laborer is worthy of his hire. And the Lord said to me, you are in my employment. I am responsible. Just stay on duty, sir. That is the source of my package till date. God is a faithful God. His ways are everlasting. You are in prayers, and then the Lord said to me, my son, you have two eyes. I said, yes. Can you make one to look up and one to look down? I tried, it didn't work. Anytime you are looking onto man, never came to be looking onto me. But they looked onto him and they were lighting, and they were no more ashamed. Can I tell you what? I've never branched in anybody's house in my life. Can you help? Whatever God cannot do, let it remain undone. Whatever God cannot give me, may I never have it. Whatever God cannot take me to, may I never get there. The ways of God are everlasting. You discover it, you believe and receive it and walk in it. He begins to show himself in your life. There are many things you have found in your studies. But how much of it are you working in? There are many notes who have taken in church services. How much of this are you working in? You can't keep your torch light in a box and not stumble in darkness. You bring it out to show you the way to go. We serve a faithful God. We serve a faithful God. Like one of the remarks here, don't seek to be known. You're wasting your energy. Seek to know, the Lord told me, and the world will soon start to seek to know you. Don't, I'm there. Where are you? I'm speaking now to the life of the celebrant today. Don't seek to be important. Seek to be relevant. Set me with all passion in doing whatever God tells you to do. Now he said to me one day, don't raise money, raise men. And you have more money than we ever need for ministry. Isn't this? These are all the ways of God. Serving God for money will make you to mourn. Well, serving God for your love for him keeps you going in supernatural abundance. You never suffer dryness. Watch. As things get tougher and rougher around the world, 
you shall be gloriously exempted. Number three, the secret we have been privileged to have and work with is access and compliance to the dictates of the Spirit. Some people think only pastors need this, only ministers need this. Everybody needs it. I know my sheep and they know my voice. May you return home tonight with an air opening miracle. That to be able to hear from God on issues of your life. So you don't misinvest your energy, misinvest your resources. Access and compliance to the dictates of the Spirit. We've heard that severally. What are you saying, Lord? Are we going to Kaduna or staying back in the Lorne? Take your Bible, and I did. Arise, get unto Damascus. Straight. The Holy Spirit has a way of speaking to us at every crossroad in our life. You never miss your step. Some have done the preference to other nations and they are full of regrets because they are not sent there. So they don't have a backing there. Others are sent there, the doors open on their own accord. You won't miss your step. Remember, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. You see wonders happen in Covenant University today. Awesome God. Lord, if it is not you, tell me, and I will tell the certificate now. He said, it is I. Dictate of the Spirit. After we ran around the place, danced and all that, he said, hand it over to me now. I said, how? Lay down here before me. All the pioneer students were there, their parents were there, elders of the church. I removed my coat and lay down. He took it off from there. We don't have a feeling we are running a school. May your ears be open to the voice of the Spirit. May your ears be open to the voice of the Spirit. May your ears be open to the voice of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'll be sharing briefly tonight on understanding the potency of blessings. The potency of blessings. <laughs> no skill no effort, no expertise will ever match the value of blessings proclaimed. When God blesses, no man can cross. So, coming under God's blessings makes you a cross-free man. Numbers 23, verse 8. How shall I cause whom God has not caused? And shall, how shall I define whom God has not defined? Verse 20. I've received the commandment to bless and he has blessed, I cannot reverse it. Sir, no anointing can reverse a blessing from the Lord. Just get to a point where you receive his blessing. You can't have God's blessings and be caused by any devil. I therefore decree tonight that every blessing of God on your life shall not be reversed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every blessing of God on your life shall not be reversed. In Jesus' name.
apart from his blessings directly, God has also positioned channels of blessings for our lives. We have the blessings of parents. And I want young people to hear me properly today. Honor their father and their mother that may prolong your days on the earth. Exodus 20 and verse 12. The Bible calls the first commandment of the law. Honor thy parents in the Lord that may be well with you and prolong your days upon the earth. There are blessings of parents. And they set us free from the struggles of life. Seek to receive the blessings of your parents. It will make the journey colorful for you. Then we have the blessings of patriarchs or spiritual fathers. We have the man called Jacob blessing his children. And he said concerning Joseph in Genesis 20, 20, 49 verse 26, the blessings of thy father has prevailed above the blessings of their progenitors. Petrika blessing causes men to prevail. Blessings of spiritual fathers cause men to prevail in the race of life where others travail. By the blessings of tonight, my son here will keep prevailing in life where others travail. We also have the proclaimed blessings of prophets. I am the Lord that confirmed the words of my servant and performs the counsel of my messengers. Prophets are God's mouthpiece. They are God's messengers. When they proclaim blessings, God said, I'm committed to confirm it. Prophets are God's workmen. They carry the words of blessings to the people to whom they are sent. There were many, many lepers in Israel, or many widows in Israel, unto none was Elijah sent, but unto the woman of Zarephath. There were many lepers. Unto none was Elisha sent, but unto Naaman the Syrian. So God sends prophets away and they carry rewards of blessings in their mouth. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet, he shall receive a prophet's reward. But now we have a generation that have zero value for blessings. It's a constant struggle for survival. But not you. However, a spiritual disconnect from the Lord stops his blessings from flowing. We saw a man so endowed by God, by name Solomon. God appeared to him twice and warned him on certain issues, but he refused. And God became angry with him and sent adversaries against him. First Kings 11 and 10. May no one here ever disconnect from God. May you never disconnect from God. Amen. God said to Eli, although I've said you and your father's house will minister before me all the days of your life, but now far be it from me. He that honors me, I will honor. And that despises me, I will lightly esteem. First Samuel 2 30.
Malachi 1 6, a son honored his father and a servant his master. If I be your father, God was speaking, where's my honor? If I be your master, where's my fear? So it takes sustainable honor of God in our heart to keep the blessings flowing. God says no to something, let it be no. He says yes, let it be yes. Don't try to explain. The Lord said to me one time, don't attempt to put words into my mouth. I'm the one to put words into your mouth. He told Balaam, don't go. Balaam went ahead. He still asked, can I go? He said, go ahead. May we be sensitive at all times to maintain the honor of God in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. So also it's a spiritual disconnect from patriarchs. Stop the flow of blessings they proclaim. The moment a branch is disconnected from a tree, it's dead. It's only a matter of time. Grace to sustain our spiritual connectivity to the channels of blessings that God has connected us to. May you receive it today. Yeah. There are things that I could labor for. You just enter into the labor of others. You are not struggling. You are not struggling. You are not struggling. I have the blessings of prophets sent my way, manifesting in various aspects of my life and ministry till date. May every blessing you are receiving from here and in your life be sustained for life. Yeah. One of them said to me, these hands shall never know dryness. 1987, I have not no dryness. And I'm saying to you tonight, for all of us who are gathered here, your dry season is over. Your dry season is over. Your dry season is over. One said to me, I release to you the gift of on time. Before the needs arise, the supplies will be waiting. You never bog your head on what to eat next. You never beg for bread in your family. You never withdraw children from school. I proclaim tonight as one of God's prophets, that your days of struggles are over. Yeah. One of them said to me, you will end up doing 20 times more than where I stop. You can't have kind of blessing. You can't buy that with money. You can't buy that with money. May every blessing proclaimed on you tonight keep answering in your life. Yeah. One of them will always say, you have not seen anything yet. And when that is said, I see something else. I see something else. Now, like you heard tonight, your path will keep shining more and more. Because the best is not today. The best is tomorrow. The best is in view. The best is in quest. The best is in future. No matter where you are today, better days, greater days lie ahead of you. I said humorously, if you call it best today, what will it be tomorrow? Bester? No. The Lord is good, but we'll do better things tomorrow. And He will 
go beyond the best to perfection. He said, the Lord will perfect all things that concerns you. That will be your portion. That will be your portion. I had this landmark blessing proclaimed on me. The prophet said, fresh oil, Lord, fresh oil, and keep him ever fresh. 1987, I've not known any spiritual dry season. Today, I declare an end to spiritual dry in your life. I decree an end to every form of spiritual dresses in your life. I had this strange word from one of them. From today, he said, my sword is your sword, and my breastplate is your breastplate. What? I never heard that. I never heard it anywhere then. It came out of insight. And can I tell you what? Nothing provokes such blessings like the honor of your heart towards those channels. Honor from within. Not honor from the tip of the tongue. Honor from within. Everything they said to me, many of them I didn't have to write it for days. They were engraved in my heart. I'm saying to you tonight that whatever pertains to you in redemption, you don't have to struggle for it anymore. One of them said to me, because this man fears God, he laid his hand on me. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. His generation shall be blessed. What and shall be in his house. And his righteousness endures forever. Now, now, that's from scriptures, but it came prophetically so strong. I'm saying to you tonight, none of your children will be a concern. If anyone is a concern right now, wherever they may be, I decree their return back to order. If anyone is challenged in his health, because when children are sick, the parents are more sick. I decree divine healing for such individuals. <laughs> Above all, and I want to say this, that's what the Bible calls a sworn blessing. A sworn blessing. He said to Abraham, because you have done this thing, you have not withheld your son, your only son from me. By myself have I sworn that in blessing I will bless you. There is what you do that provokes a sworn blessing. May you succeed to hit sore things in your life. May you succeed to hit the point of sworn blessing in your life. It's a point of no reversal. May you hit the point of a sworn blessing in your life. I had that privilege years back. The Lord said to me, after instructing me and I did what he said I should do, he said, my son David, even if you don't want to be rich, it's too late. Come and say, one blessing. When you meet a man or a woman carrying a swan blessing, stay clear. Stay clear. Stay clear. If I will bless them that bless thee, and him that causes you, I will cause. Stay clear. And you are blessed of the Lord as the seed of Abraham. So, endeavor to hit the point of a sworn blessing. Ah, no skill on earth can match it. No skill on earth can match it. Therefore, I believe tonight that each one before the year is over, you will hit the point of a sworn blessing.
his blessings make rich and they add no sorrow. His blessings make rich and they add no sorrow. Now, what should I expect tonight? I'm going to pray for my beloved son in the Lord and his wife. But what of you? He has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. You have come in honor of Jesus and in honor of his servant. You must return with your package. You must return with your package tonight. God never gathers his people in vain. He gathers us to bless us. As we all know, God has bestowed specific blessings on every spiritual house, every church of Christ. And by the grace of God, we have seen God wipe away tears from off all our faces in this house as entrenched in the liberation mandate. Therefore, expect every of your secret tears to be wiped off tonight. Every form of weeping behind closed door is over tonight. Your weeping has started for a night. Joy is coming in the morning. And I mean, within seven days of this day, God will wipe away every tear in your heart. He said, weep not, for the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed to open the book. The book is open tonight. There are prophetic blessings that when received, believed, God steps in to confirm. Expect every tear behind closed doors to be wiped off tonight. This is a house of healing, health, and wholeness. Also as entrenched in the mandate. Therefore, if anyone came into this service with any sickness or disease, expect to return home healed and made whole. This is a house of supernatural prosperity. One core identity of this commission worldwide is supernatural blessing. Which the mandate received from the Lord when the Lord said to me, get back home and make my people rich. Therefore, expect the siege of poverty to be broken yeah. over your life and family. as you engage with the terms of the covenant of abundance, the scriptures cannot be broken. As you engage with the covenant terms of abundance, this church is a home of signs and wonders in confirmation of the mandate to usher in the era of pace certain signs and wonders. Pace certain signs and wonders. I was checking through today, we have seen 35 people that Jesus raised from the dead through members of the church. We have always had those testimonies of great anointed men moving into that realm, but now we see women raising their husband back to life. We see mothers raising their children back to life. God said to me, usher in this new era with me. I said, what era is era of signs and wonders? Of higher dimension. During COVID-19, we have said 115 testimonies from across all continents of the earth. People that Jesus set free from the plague. Because he said the hour has come to liberate the world from all the prince of the devil through the preaching of the word of faith and send you to home that take this task. Therefore, tonight, every issue of your life that requires the hand of God for a turnaround, receive it now. 
that terminal disease is terminated. That siege on your business that seems to be generational is broken tonight. That band in your career, you can't find a way forward, you just get stalled, stagnated. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, in this house of liberation, I decree your liberation. Therefore, expect all challenges of your life to be turned to testimonies in this service tonight. In conclusion, when Saul came among the prophets, he began to prophesy. Therefore, expect every blessing in this spiritual house to begin to speak louder by the day in your life from this service in the name of Jesus. Welcome to your mountain of change. Welcome to your mountain of transformation. You remember this validity service for many years to come. Because something is turning already in your life. 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 And as Saul returned, he was given another heart and turned into another man. As you return from this service, you'll be given another heart and you'll be turned into another man in the name of Jesus. Now, I've spoken of blessings. And it's time to proclaim blessings, Mr. Lebron, tonight. And in the name of Jesus, the blessing proclaimed will be stamped on your life yeah. and for life. Yeah. Now, listen, you didn't come my way, God sent you my way. And God sent me to you. I knew that in my heart. And I'm proclaiming to you tonight, upon you tonight, the blessings of your father that cause men to prevail and you shall keep prevailing yeah. you'll never know a setback in your life yeah. in the name of Jesus yeah. I also have my co-liberals who are part of the foundations of this ministry Bishop Joe Ebuema is here stand for recognition please Bishop Dixon Alonanda is here Bishop Bulu Martins is here God bless you all Please come. Please give us a liberant and a spouse a big hand. Amen. Now, are you happy to see this newly wed? <laughs> Amen. Praise God. The best is on the way coming. Join me, stretch forth your hands, everyone. Stand to your feet. And let your mouth be open to proclaim blessings. What do you want to see in your own life? Proclaim it right now. In Jesus' precious name. Every book is in chapters. After one chapter, then opens the next chapter, and then the next chapter, and then the next chapter. In the name of Jesus, no door shall be shut against you. Every seed sown has a future. 
Therefore, your seed of labor, your seed of time, energy, and resources shall come to be rewarded. As I lay hands on you, your strength will not diminish. Your faith will not go down. Your spiritual life will remain on fire. In the name of Jesus. I declare upon you and your entire household a new dawn. In the name of Jesus. Now you are sealed with the Holy Ghost of promise. No evil touches you. No pestilence comes near your dwelling. As your day, so shall your strength be. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that the fire, the, the fire on the altar of your heart will never go out. You keep casting wood into it every morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. The blessing of the Father that caused men to prevail is upon you tonight. You're going to prevail where others travel. In the precious name of Jesus. So shall it be. Be blessed of the Lord. Be blessed of the Lord. Be blessed of the Lord. And be blessed of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The job of priests is to proclaim blessings. And God goes there to confirm it. Therefore, may every blessing proclaimed on you tonight receive confirmation from above. In the name of Jesus. 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 As the Lord lives, you will testify. The jobless will be jumping with their miracle jobs. Every damn business will resuscitate again. No one returns home with any sickness or disease. You wake up tomorrow morning into a brand new day. And so shall it be. Lift up those two hands, everybody, and give God thanks. Give him praise. Give him glory. For all our leaders from the various churches, God bless you for coming. And all our officials who have traveled in from various places, all the sons of the prophets and daughters of the prophets who are here, be blessed and may the blessings upon your father keep flowing in your life in multiplied form lift up your two hands and give God thanks give him thanks for the blessings you have received tonight Praise God, fortune is my portion in 2024. Shall we take our seat in the name of Jesus Christ? Please let's take note of the following announcement before we go. Number one, we are all admonished to use the exit gates, the three exit gates on our way out to ease traffic on our way out of Goshen. Number two, there are available takeaway packages to be given to everyone as we exit our way out of the auditorium. Number three, good news. <laughs> Next Sunday shall be our covenant day of open doors. 
and also our Operation Andrew Sunday. It shall also be our special anointing service. Time is 6.30 a.m., 8.30 a.m., and 10.30 a.m. Come along with at least two souls, and your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Shall we together share the goodness and rise up on our feet and share the goodness together in fellowship? Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. Help me greet somebody on your way out. God bless you. Choir, please, let's have some songs. Let's praise God. Let's have some songs as we celebrate before we go. Choir, please.